obviously I would rather prefer this more complex flowchart. I feel it grabs all the details much better. If you're a logical person like me, then having flowcharts is a very good way to represent data, to represent processes, and to represent systems. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to create these flowcharts that define what happens first, second, third, and all that. So here I'm saying, create me a mermaid chart for making a hot beverage in the morning. Sometimes I want coffee, other times I want tea. Other times I don't want anything. I would rather have water. Sounds like I'm very indecisive, but no, it's always coffee. Anyway, before you create a flowchart, ask me questions to clarify my process. So instead of just going straight and creating the flowchart, I'm also going to input a bunch of data to help create a better flowchart as well. So here it's saying what factors help you decide between coffee, tea, or water? What type of coffee do you prefer? What type of tea? Do you have specific steps? Are you using a French press? Nice. Is there a particular reason you opted for water? Is the decision quick? <laughs> if I'm tired, I choose coffee, but I feel fine, I go for tea. Okay. To answer your questions, The factors that help me decide depend on the mood and energy level. If I feel very tired, I tend to go for coffee and I make it a double shot sometimes as well. If I feel calmer, I go for tea and my preferred choice of tea is green tea. I don't really like black tea, but occasionally every, say one, every five times, I choose herbal tea. When it comes to making coffee, I have a machine which grinds the coffee beans and then makes the coffee. I don't use any other machines for this purpose. When it comes to water, I also love having water even when I have coffee, but on days when it's hot outside, I just go for water instead. I don't add anything to my coffee because I'm trying to stay healthy. Also, when I go to the gym after my morning coffee, I feel more energized. So as you can see, this doesn't, I mean, I'm not using a microphone, so there's also that, but it's not really 100% accurate. But at the same time, I'm also curious how ChatGPT will um, factor all this in creating the flowchart. Also an interesting point is that I am seeing this for the first time, the memory updated. So apparently you can, I was reading about this and you can set memories based on the inputs that you put. And then you can either get ChatGPT to access these memories or I guess reference them in other chats. Anyway, is there anything else you'd like me to add before I create the flowchart? So here it's saying mood level energy, mood energy level of very t very tired choose coffee if calm go for tea most likely green or herbal occasionally if it's hot outside go for water over hot beverage use a coffee machine that grinds beans and brews the coffee if you're very tired you may go for a double shot of coffee if you choose tea it's usually green occasionally have herbal um, okay i guess that is kind of similar you enjoy water even when you drink coffee especially when it's cooler outside perfect go for the flow chart so in a second here, you'll be able to see this flowchart, which is created in a language called Mermaid. Analyzing, analyzing. You can also see the code being created here. Okay. And I can download the file. Let's have a look at that. So, start. How do you feel? Feeling very tired? Make coffee. Double shot of very tired. Then drink water. Feeling calm? Make green tea. Make herbal tea occasionally. Is it hot outside? Drink water. Okay, not bad. But I was expecting something slightly different. Can you create this mermaid and provide the code and start with providing the code? 
All right, so this is the code for Mermaid. And at the same time, I'm also going to open up Claude. I'm going to give it the same conversation. And let's see what that comes up with. So yeah, here I have the Mermaid code. Okay, I'm gonna copy it and I'm going to go to Mermaid uh, Live Viewer, Live Editor, where basically I can paste in, yes, this code. And I have an error here. Make coffee that be sure to be very tired. So what's wrong with that? Expected SQE. Parser and light tree. Okay, let's go back to chat GPT. I'm getting an error. And in the meantime, Claude has also created this kind of more looking, more complex looking piece of flowchart. The good thing about Claude is that there's a preview window as well. So you can preview it and you also get the code right here. So if I preview that, I'm getting something like this. Start. How do you feel? Do I feel very tired? Do I feel calm? Or neither? If I feel very tired, I go for coffee. If I feel regular tired, I guess, there's make single shot coffee. If I feel extra tired, make double shot coffee. I use coffee machine, I drink coffee, and then I can either go to the gym. So. If I go to the gym, I feel energized because I had coffee. If I have water alongside that, I then continue with my day. Same as if I choose no. So, um, Claude has taken a few liberties and kind of boosted my prompt as well, which I like. Then, if I feel calm, I drink tea. Most times it's green tea, occasionally it's herbal. So, I make it, I drink it, continue with my day. If it's neither, I check the weather. Nice. If it's hot outside, I have water. If it's not hot, I reconsider mood. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, if it's not hot, I reconsider mood. And then I see how I feel. But if it's hot outside, I have water, I stay hydrated, and then I continue with my day. I like how all paths lead to continue with day. Whereas here, um, it just kind of stops, which isn't very good. So let's see if this updated code actually fixes the error. Yeah, so that did in fact fix it. So, how do you feel? Very tired, make coffee, that will shot if very tired, drink water with coffee. If it's hot outside, drink water with coffee. Okay, so not bad, but obviously I would rather prefer this more complex flow chart. I feel it grabs all the details much better. And if I take the code here, and I copy that code, and go back to the Mermaid Live Viewer, and paste that in, I also get the same thing here. So I can also make adjustments to it here. So instead of say, drink coffee, I say drink 10 coffees at point H, which is before going to the gym. So here, and I drink 10 coffees. So it's much easier to edit um, stuff on the go. Then I can save it, I can download it, and do a bunch of other stuff as well. So this is how you create a flowchart. You can use ChatGPT or Claude to ask questions, to clarify points, and then ask it to develop this flowchart in Mermaid. The good news about Claude is that it can give you the preview and the code as well. So you can also, if you want to make edits, you can ask it to make edits right here by inputting what you want it to change, or you can also look at the code and make suggestions and changes right now. And you can go to something like this, copy the code, paste it here, and then make changes. What you could then do is then copy this, go back to Claude and say, use this code moving forward, right? And then you paste that. So that it will continue based on the adjustments that you've made. I hope you found that useful if you're like me and you love seeing things in a step-by-step -step fashion. And yeah, definitely give Mermaid and flowcharts a try.
If, if you have found this video useful, hit the like and subscribe so you don't miss future videos. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. I'll speak to you soon.